What's up, guys? This is Vic. Hi, me. And we're in Pierce the Vale. And you're watching APTV. Yes, you are. What's up, everybody? I am Nick Major, your APTV Los Angeles correspondent. I've got Vic and Jaime of Pierce the Veil. How does it feel to be back on the road? We played our first show in like almost a year last night. It was awesome. It was like sold out and uh, it was a great time at the time. And at then we the woke up this oh. morning. Yeah, I got hit by a, a bus. Just straight. Just like, oh. You kind of realize you're like, you know, you're not, you know, you're not young anymore. You know, you're getting older <laughs> every day. Working on the new album, you're working with Dan again on this album, yeah. as you did with Collide. What was it with the relationship that you guys built up that made you realize, you know what, we want to go back, work with this guy again? Because obviously, it was a good experience. You know, I've always like heard about bands being like, oh yeah, we have this, we have this, our producer, like he's our guy, yeah. you know, like and like, I've always dreamed about having that that person on our team of, of you know someone we can rely on and and. Uh, do records with all the time and make them better and better and then, and I think we found that in, in Dan. He's the sneaky fifth member of, of, of Pierce the Veil. That's how close he is. <laughs> yeah, he's he's. Uh... <laughs> he owns a uh, Lamborghini and that's kind of cool, like a white one. Do you want to be my friend, Dan? Yeah. Um, well, uh, it's not a new Lamborghini. It's from the 80s. It's, from it's the like 80s. it's like this high off yeah. the ground. <laughs> you so, actually lay down when you drive in the Lamborghini. Yeah. The other night, uh, someone tried to steal it when I was there at the studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had. <laughs> really? You heard about that? <laughs> that was you. <laughs> it was like the first time you guys actually wrote two songs in the studio yes. as opposed to outside the studio. Was that an experience that you guys liked, something you might do in the future? Or do you still prefer writing some stuff outside of the studio and then coming back in? It was a learning experience. We were like, we were literally just sitting in a circle just making noises. <laughs> Just to be creative, we switched instruments. I think we, like, you took my bass and I took guitar and we just were like, let's see what happens. So you don't know who actually ended up writing what no. for the songs that yeah. are... I'm pretty, I think we had, we had a studio dog and I'm pretty sure he wrote half the song. <laughs> so, you never know. So you had two other songs originally that had been replaced, right? Yeah, they got cut, they got the boot. So what, what happens with a song like that when it's like a completed song, it's obviously something you put a lot of time into. Is it just done for good or will it get reworked? Will you ever just release it? We put them up on like old social media sites like MySpace, MySpace. and we put it on like, it, the whole record's been on Friendster for like a month. For, yeah, <laughs> nobody even knows. And so it sounded like you guys are looking for a January-ish turn of the new year for the for the album to come out possibly. Whoa, whoa, calm down. But I'm gonna calm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm down real quick. It's gonna be just like, Pump the brakes there, buddy. <laughs> One thing I heard about you is your <laughs> it's not too personal it just has to do with dave shapiro and flying yes it's something i've always wanted to get into since i was a kid and Did you ever play the flight simulator games absolutely all the time when we toured in a van like he would sit there on this ghetto ass flight simulator <laughs> on his pc and he would fly he would fly to like vegas in real time it, and he would just sit there staring at a blue screen for hours you know i gotta check all the engines make sure they're running properly the fuel you know so are, are you ever going to be the flyer to take you guys on tour? Originally, I just wanted to do it for myself, and I wanted to set like a goal and be like, you know what, if I have time, I'm going to get my license, my pilot's license, and go for it. And now I've, I was home for a little bit, and I'm like, I think I'm like 30 hours in. I have like 15 more to go, or however many it takes. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll start small. You never know. Maybe go from San Diego to L.A. You know, yeah. I'm not a big fan of traffic. I don't think anyone is. That bypasses all the traffic you'll ever come across in Southern California. And I think, you know, Vic, you'll learn how to parachute, and I'll just drop you off every time. You guys will have the most the epic intros for all the shows. It'll actually be you guys are parachute. flying in, parachuting I mean, in. Chargers do it, you know. Football games, they come in. They just come in. We'll just do that. I don't want to support any of what you guys just said. No, <laughs> I just say no. <laughs> I know you're a fan of Jurassic Park. Yeah. Who is it? The... D Says Stop Hammond. watching the video right now. You're lying to yourself. So what do you think? Have you been following the new one that's going to be coming out? Uh, no, but uh, you know, my brother just went to Hawaii with his girlfriend and saw where they filmed like the first couple ones. Like, pretty cool. I was pretty jealous. Saw on Instagram, he's in front of the Jurassic Park sign, and I almost, I just wanted it. I was angry. I was this close to like finding an old Jeep for sale and just painting it like the Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's an investment. I don't know why I would ever... I just want to have it. I'm going to sell all the things I have just to get that juice. You know, I'm not going to have a house. Just Just always, yeah. Shut up to practice in a Jurassic Park Jeep. I'm just going to have that little hat and a little shirt that says, like, clever girl. That's it. <laughs> clever girl. Yeah. So that's what your life will amount to, yeah. is just owning your own Jurassic Park Jeep. Sell everything I own, all my bases, everything, and just buy that Jurassic Park Jeep. <laughs> there it is. I got it! <laughs> you guys are traveling all over the world finally again. What are you excited to hit up on this tour? I know it's not all been announced yet, all the spots, right. but yeah, yeah. 
What are you looking forward to get back to, to seeing, to people, places, food? I'm excited to not eat some foods because I got really sick last time when we, when we, got, get sick on? When we got back from like South America and, and Mexico, I was, me and Mike were like in bed like <laughs> for like a month. I think I'm just excited to revisit and like, you know, see it from a, that new perspective because, you know, the first time you're just like, you're just freaked out by everything and now, you know, um, it'll be cool to like have a, a little bit of different feeling about it, yeah. Thanks for chatting, and right before this awesome tour, another night to get sore. Some more trains to get yeah. knocked out by. a little bit. I'll be all right. You'll be yeah. used to it. You'll worry be buffed by the Don't end of this. Don't worry time. about us. They've done this before. I got a DeLorean. Before I got the Jeep, I got a DeLorean. We're going to go back in time, stretch it out. Oh, geez. You're all about the movie cars. <laughs> Worst cars. Like, you're driving. I'm going to have a DeLorean and the Jurassic Park Jeep. They're going to get stolen in like a day. I'm going to have a, a, a Raptor. He's going to have a Raptor, too. He's actually bringing the dinosaurs in on this. Hi, mate, Vic. Thanks so much for talking again. Thank you. From Pierce the Veil. Be sure to check out their world tour. They'll be near you, regardless. Good luck on the uh, rest of the... I'm going to uh, somehow get on this. Stay out of gangs. Stay in school. Stay in school. Thanks for watching. <laughs>